The history of the universe, according to scientists, is that the entire cosmos began with the Big Bang, an infinitesimal speck of energy that exploded and expanded into the universe we have today. But have you ever wondered what came before the Big Bang? Well, it seems scientists may have just found proof that another universe may have existed before our own. They believe they may have stumbled on evidence proving that our universe might simply be one in a long line of universes that exist across eons. But is there really proof to support these claims? Or well, to find out and more, stick with us as we take a look into a time before the Big Bang. Science tells us that the universe originated from the Big Bang some 13.8 billion years ago when an incredibly dense, hot speck of energy of immeasurably small units exploded, creating the first atoms. This marked the earliest point of creation in the observable universe, which then expanded over billions of years into the cosmos we see today. So far, scientists have only been able to trace evidence of the Big Bang to within fractions of a second after it occurred. We've been unable to determine what caused the Big Bang or what came before it, but that all seems to have changed. Theoretical physicist and Nobel Prize winner Sir Roger Penrose has postulated a theory stating that our universe didn't emanate from nothing, but instead is a product of a past universe. Penrose is a well-respected mathematician and physicist and has contributed to the general theory of relativity and cosmology. He received the Wolf Prize in Physics, which he shared with Stephen Hawking back in 1988, and also won half of the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2020 for the discovery that black hole formation is a robust prediction of the general theory of relativity. He is regarded as one of the greatest living physicists, and his theories are well respected in the science community. So when he postulated his theory on the origins of the universe, it took the science community by surprise. In his book, Cycle of Times, Penrose postulated what he called the conformal cyclic cosmology model, which is an offshoot of Einstein's general relativity, but actually opposes a lot of the original models put forth by Einstein. Penrose's cosmology model doesn't follow the multidimensional theories which most scientists have come to accept, but instead states that the universe exists in phases, as opposed to the widely accepted multiversal concept. Penrose reported, that he had discovered evidence based on centric circles which he found while studying both pre-existing and current versions of the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB. He stated that from his observation, he determined that an earlier universe had quite possibly existed before the Big Bang that created our own. In his book, he stated that the Big Bang was a result of the final stages of the pre-existing universe, which, at the end of its existence, only had evaporating black holes that had consumed all cosmic matter within their universe. He stated that at the end of that universe, all matter was contained within these evaporating black holes, which were nothing but photons that existed outside space and time. According to him, these photons were essentially no different than the very first photons observed in the first few milliseconds of the Big Bang meaning the singularity which gave birth to the Big Bang is equivalent to the infinitely expanded pre-existing universe. The origin of Penrose's theory could be found in a study of the cosmic microwave background, which is the earliest electromagnetic radiation present during the early stages of the universe. Known by physicists as relic radiation, CMB is found all over the universe and has served as the most important source of data referencing the thermal and radioactive state of the early universe. CMB dates back to when the very first atoms were formed during the period known as recombination. It is determined to have existed some 375,000 years after the Big Bang. This might seem like a lot of time, but in the grand scheme of the observable universe, it is relatively small and serves as the closest picture we have of the state of the early universe. CMB is observed using radio telescopes, which show a faint glow existing in the space between stars and galaxies and is not associated with any other cosmic objects. Penrose was able to extract his data using the CMB because it is basically a snapshot of the early universe, at which point temperatures had dropped low enough for protons and electrons to form hydrogen atoms. In his published analysis, the Cosmic Microwave Background Data, Penrose, alongside three other authors, including Christoph and Tony Meisner, Daniel Ann, and Pavel Narowski, revealed that they observed anomalous points that gave new input into our knowledge of cosmology. 
They postulated that these anomalies could be remnants of signals or energies from evaporating supermassive black holes that had existed in the universe prior to ours. They attributed these points to evaporating supermassive black holes because black holes are the only bodies in the entire universe able to withstand and produce a dense enough level of energy comparable to the Big Bang. Penrose postulated that his study of the CMB gives preliminary evidence of the collision of supermassive black holes in a pre-existing universe, as they were the only structures powerful enough to leave such ripples of gravitational waves in the early stages of our own universe. To support his theories, Penrose examined the practical implications of the second law of thermodynamics as it applies to the final state of the universe. Although much of it stems from current views of theoretical physics, Penrose disagrees with populations by Stephen Hawking, which states that information is destroyed once matter or energy enters a black hole. Coincidentally, Penrose isn't the only scientist who opposes the idea that black holes are simply cosmic voids swallowing up energy in the universe, but rather break energy down into photons that exist beyond space and time, beyond the event horizon. According to Penrose, these photons, which exist beyond space and time, can constitute the building blocks of a subsequent universe in the form of a Big Bang event. Penrose goes on to state that over unimaginable amounts of time, possibly trillions of years, all matter in the observable universe breaks down into photon energy in a cold, expanded universe. According to him, this period from a Big Bang to the infinite expansion of a universe is called an eon, the infinite expansion and oblivion of the previous eon becomes the building block and Big Bang state of the next eon cycle. During this critical point between the end of one eon and the start of another, space and time are irrelevant, making the start of the new eon appear quite small relative to its observers. Penrose states the singularity believed to be present during the Big Bang is not as much as a mystery as it seemed. He believes he has found similar singularities to possibly be present at the event horizon of black holes. He states that the streaks of circles observed on the CMB are extremely redshifted photons which were present in black holes of the previous universe, finding their way into our existing universe. These circle streaks on the CMB might not look like much to the layman's observation, but to a physicist holds low energy from a previous universe. He believes that cosmic energy swallowed in black holes of a previous eon can be attached to the future Big Bang of the next eon after an unimaginable period of cosmic expansion. Penrose's theory that the universe will end by an infinite expansion does more than just support his theory of a previous universe, but directly contradicts one of the most popular theories on the end of the universe, the Big Crunch. Before now, cosmologists have put forward that the current expansion of the universe was still a factor of it being in the mid-stages of its existence. They believed that as the universe got older, the gravitational attraction of matter throughout the universe would eventually slow the expansion rate and effectively begin to pull everything together. The Big Crunch theory postulated that the ultimate fate of the universe was bound to be caused by forces of gravity exerted by every body of mass in the cosmos. This would eventually lead to the contraction that would mean the ultimate collapse of the universe on a cosmic scale. This crunch would be infinitesimally dense and hot enough that it would cause another Big Bang, ultimately starting a new universe. This theory of the end of one universe giving rise to the birth of another isn't far from Penrose's theory, but is inaccurate in one regard. The expansion of the universe isn't slowing down at all. Current evidence from astronomical observations has it that not only is the expansion rate of the universe not slowing down, but it's actually accelerating at an increasing rate. The observations show that the speed at which distant stars and galaxies are receding from observing telescopes here on Earth is increasing with time. These observations were further proven with the study of supernovas and how fast their light traveled essentially providing evidence that the universe isn't expanding at a constant rate as astronomers had previously believed. This rapid expansion discredits the theory of the Big Crunch, as the effects of gravity appear to have no effect on the expansion rate of the cosmos, much less act on it to the point of collapse. It further solidifies Penrose's claim that the universe will infinitely expand to a point 
where even black holes disintegrate into photons, giving rise to the birth of a new universe and the start of another eon. While all this still remains a theory highly debated by the science community, Penrose published a more controversial theory involving aliens, and not just those assumed to be present in this universe, but in the universe preceding ours. Penrose postulated what he calls the Fermi Paradox, a highly unlikely theory due to the lack of evidence, but highly probable in the support of extraterrestrial civilizations. With the concept of cyclic cosmology and the idea of a pre-existing universe, Penrose states that the possibility of information transfer from one eon to another is possible with his observation of the CMB. He believes that advanced civilizations could encode intelligent signals and gravitational wave functions that transcend eons, essentially passing information to other civilizations at some point in the next universe. This concept has been highly debated in the science community, with other scientists studying the cosmic microwave background to find this so-called evidence themselves. It is still unclear if they will come to the same conclusion as Penrose, but one thing's for certain, he has the science community fixated on the CMB looking for the same clues. Whether or not a universe existed before our own, or if there are some strands of trans-eon information out there waiting to be decided is still yet to be proven. What we do know for certain is that we have our own universe to explore and understand before we even begin to grasp the idea of a past universe. So do you think there could have been some past universe and maybe even a past Earth? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you in the next video.